Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Adams. Today we're going to talk about getting the absolute most out of your iPad. You spent a whole bunch of money on this iPad and it's got a lot of tools inside of it that you may or may not know how to use. So I've got a couple tips today, five tips for you of how to use your iPad to the absolute most. So the first tip is going to be this using Scribble. Now people might not know this, but Scribble has been part of iPad OS for a while, but I don't know a lot of people who actually use it. It's one of those features that's kind of a hidden thing that you wouldn't know, especially if you don't know to use the pencil. So say you have your pencil out and you're using it, it's really helpful, but you got to write in a text box. The way that I do it is I write in it like this. So I say get milk. Sometimes, listen, if your writing is like my writing is, it's really, really bad. So you just scribble it out and deletes it and you say, get milk. Okay, that one actually worked. Now, this is one of the issues with this. You do have to have fairly good handwriting. Not, not perfect, but like mine is actual chicken scratch. And so if you have relatively decent handwriting, you're going to be just fine. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder out there. It's getting pretty wild but using scribble it's a great tool and if you use it a lot like if you always have your apple pencil out it's something that you'll be very thankful for because then it means you don't have to put your pencil away you know pick up a keyboard type away you can actually use the pencil on most things now the next tip we're going to talk about is actually if you have your ipad sitting off to the side this is a really helpful one right here so it's this if your ipad is locked and you tap on the middle of the screen it opens right up into a note and you can just start writing now the reason that this is super helpful is for a lot of times when i'm working like i've got my laptop set up in front of me and i've got my ipad set off to the side and i'll have like a really quick thought and if i don't have somewhere to write it down that thought man it's just out of there and so um, I don't want my iPad to die and so like I'll set it off, you know, set it off to the side where I'm working somewhere and it's just, it's literally sitting off because I don't want the battery to go. I'll have a thought, I tap the middle and I just immediately start writing. And so it's just a really helpful little quick tip to get uh, your ideas jotted down. If you're like me, man, you can forget an idea in a blink of an eye. So having a really, really quick way to capture that idea that is one major key to productivity, to creativity. So I definitely think you should use it. Now, another tip when you're using an iPad with an Apple Pencil and you're trying to set it up and use it well is having a good case, which leads me to the sponsor today, ESR. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a couple of their different products. The first one is their Shift Magnetic Case. Now, this is a very well-made case. I love that it has a spot right here for the Apple Pencil to go in. That's really cool because I tend to lose my Apple Pencil all the time. Now, one of the things that is really, really cool about this case is how many different adjustable angles it has. You can do it like this. You can go even lower. You can go all the way down. That's really awesome. And then not only can it do that, which by the way, for me, this is really important because of how much I do presentations. Having something like this where it's actually leaning over and I can be standing up and still use my iPad and it doesn't feel janky, like it's not like falling around and jittering. I can touch it and put some weight into my press on my finger and it's totally fine. Because it's a magnetic case, you can also set it up in a portrait mode, which actually for me is probably how I'll be using it because when I'm looking at my notes for preaching, I have it in a vertical place like this. Now with this magnetic case, they also have two different things. One is this, it is a magnetic screen protector so that it's like a piece of paper. And so while you're drawing, sometimes if you're writing a lot of notes, the screen is a little bit slippery on an iPad, but if you put something like this, it makes the screen feel like an actual piece of paper. Now they also sent me their extra strong screen protector. It goes on there and it makes it so that your iPad is absolutely a tank. Now the cool thing with their paper, you know, the paper feeling cover is it can go on top of the tempered glass screen. And so you've got a really, really protected iPad. And then, like I said, when you're on a lock screen, you do this and you can draw on it and it actually feels like a real piece of paper. Hey, also ESR reached out and said they're gonna be running another promotion for back to school from the 29th to the 31st, where they're gonna be offering discounts from 10 to 40% off. So this is a huge savings. Go ahead and click the link below. Let's get back into the video. The next tip is something that I find helpful as somebody who does a lot, a lot, a lot of research I have found this incredibly helpful. Let's switch over to my overhead cam and I will show you. So say I'm doing a research report. Let me try to turn the, the screen down a little bit so you can maybe see a little bit better. Say I'm doing a research report on Teddy Roosevelt. I love Teddy Roosevelt. I think he's one of the most incredible people in history, but I need to do a whole lot of research. And so I'm reading, hopefully not only, you know, don't only use Wikipedia articles. They're not the best. Like 
Wikipedia is helpful, but it's not everything. So you're using Wikipedia and then you swipe up from the bottom and my favorite writing app, as most of you know, is something like Ulysses. And so what I'll end up doing is I will go like this. If I find something I really, really wanna know, right, I highlight it on one side of the text and then you just hold your finger down on it. And instead of having to copy and paste it, you just drag it over, drop it down. All that information is now there. If like, this is such a helpful tool for people who need to put in a whole lot of research and they just wanna create like a scratch page with everything they found, it's helpful. Right now I'm looking at buying a new car, nothing fancy. And so I'm looking and just kind of seeing like, what's the best car for families. And so I have, you know, Ulysses open on one side and I'm looking through articles on the other side. And all I'm doing is just, you know, tapping it, dragging it over. It is so cool to see how easy it is to drag information on an iPad. Now, the next thing is going to be using the Apple Pencil. Once again, the Apple Pencil is such an incredible tool, especially when you're talking the new iPads that have the pinch features, but that's not what we're talking about today. So you can swipe down from the bottom corner and you can actually take a little note on whatever it is you're working on. So say it's this Teddy Roosevelt thing. And then I can go down here and I can scribble down thoughts right here. So Teddy was a man, like whatever you want to write, you could do that. And then it's going to show up on your notes app for you. Uh, and so it's a really, really cool little thing that, um, that just makes a really quick note. Like you can jot things down super fast and then get right back into what you're doing. I think that's the big thing. When you're using iPad OS in this way and you're doing all these little quick actions, it's just to get down to the nitty gritty and get back done the work that you're trying to do. Like this iPad is a very, very good tool, but the more you know the ecosystem, the more you know how to use the operating system, the faster you're going to be. If you have your Apple Pencil, and instead of doing a quick little note where you wanna jot on the side, maybe you wanna take a screenshot of the whole screen swipe up from the bottom, it takes an entire screenshot. Then not only that, you can also take this and you can start to annotate stuff. So say you wanted to really, really hone in right here and you wanted to make sure that like, man, you know what? I need to remember this little factoid right in here. You'll be able to annotate that, save that. Now, when you save it, you click the done on the side. Two quick notes and then I'm moving back on. Once again, moving on with my work. All right, now the fifth and the final tool that I wanna show you is one that is my absolute favorite, favorite accessibility feature of all time on an iPad. Like I use my iPad all the time to read at night. If you're an OG of the channel, you know this tip already. However, my channel has doubled since the size, doubled in size since I've talked about this last. And so I really wanna make sure that people know this tip and this tip is this accessibility feature where you turn your screen red okay here's the thing when you're reading at night having a red screen it might not seem all that cool but when you have a red screen it doesn't cast light people can't see it and it, it doesn't wake you up right you've got the circadian rhythm thing with the blue light going on you want to make sure that you don't have too much blue light coming into your vision where when you have a red screen there is no blue light at all on this and the red light doesn't cast super far. So it's just, it's a really, really cool feature. Let me show you how it's done. All right, first and foremost, you wanna go into your settings. Settings is a really helpful place. If you go down here into accessibility, go to the very bottom and click this bottom thing that says accessibility shortcut, do it and make sure you have color filters click. That way when you triple click the lock button, that little menu will pop up and you'll be allowed to do it. Now when you're here, go up here into display and text size go into color filters. Once you're here, click this on and this little slider down here is what picks what color you want it to be. If you have it all the way to the right with the intensity all the way to the right, then when you are in something like for me, I use my Bible app a lot. When I'm in my Bible app, it's not shining. Now, if I don't want that there, just triple click and bada bing, bada boom, you're back to a normal iPad. It is one of the most helpful features for me because I use it quite literally every single day on all of my devices. I have it done on my phone. I've got it on my iPads, my iPad mini. It is such a great tool. And so if you're somebody who reads a lot, you read a lot at night, you're sitting in bed, maybe you're like me and you struggle to fall asleep sometimes, I think it is a great tool to have this uh, accessibility feature, turn your screen red. So guys, tell me what you thought of this list of all of these different helpful little tools that you can use when you're using your iPad. Tell me which one was your favorite. Like this video, sub to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.